Oh, so we're in Hosea 7. I think we're on verse 10. What is Anna to answer? I say, so we had Gaon one time. We had a brief discussion of it, but I think we're going to get some, um, some real words going here. So we're going to go to um, Vayikra Kapval Pasuk to Sha'esre. Sha'esre. Good. Okay, what's Shavar? To break. And so Gaon is usually translated as pride, and this is the pride of something, the pride of Uz, huh? the pride of your strength. Vinatati, not necessarily give. It's often used as to set in place. Put in place. Shmechem, this is a little bit hard to see. What do you think it is? Well, that, that looks like their That's names, right? But that wouldn't be their names. Why not? Because how do you say names? No. Shemot. Right, so it can't be their names. So it's a smichut of something. Put the ending back on it and see if you see what it is. Heaven, Shemayim. So yeah, the, the Shem and the Shemot and the Shemayim, uh, when we run into these, adding the suffixes, it gets a little confusing, okay? I'm going to make your heavens like what? Barzel, iron, and Artzachem, your land, like like copper or bronze. Brown. Let's look at Mishle, Pet Zion, Pasuk. Mona Esrei. I mean, God doesn't think much of pride, does he? It's not big on his list of acceptable attributes. For the Shever, this is the same as Shavarti. It's not really translated that way, but before this breaking comes pride. Pride goes before destruction. And before, what is the Kashal? You remember the Kashal? We've done it many times. Stumble. Gova, you know, what is Gova? Uh, the high and lofty, high and lofty ruach. ruach. Okay, a haughty spirit. A haughty spirit goes before a fall. Pride goes before destruction. A lofty spirit goes before stumbling. All right, one more. Yeshayahu, Dalim, Pasuk Shtayim. Vayim hahu, in that day. Yehiyeh. It will be. What will be? The Tzemach, the branch of Yahweh. Litzvi. Tzvi is beautiful. But it's also an animal, like a gazelle, I think, is a tzvi. It's a very common name, actually, for men. Uh, it's beautiful, and it will be for kavod, glory. This is the, talking about the branch of the Lord. And priha'ara, the fruit of the land, le gaon. So it's not prideful. It's beautiful. It's excellent. Okay, it's excellent. And to ferret is... Uh, also a kind of beauty. And what will it be? Who is all this for? Lefletat Israel. This is an, a useful verb to know. It means to escape. So at some point, things are going to be very bad, but some people will escape. Right? You know what happened uh, in the first century? Because the people knew what Yeshua said. He said, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, get out. And the believers got out. No, they ran to it's Pella. Very, very Pella. Close. I don't know where it is, but that's where they ran. I think it's in Jordan. Yeah, it is in Jordan. So, and their lives were saved because they paid attention. So there are people who still will escape before the terrible destruction. Okay, Hosea. Let's translate the verse. Now we have all these words. The pride, the pride of Israel is going to answer. Who do you think they're answering? God, right? They're going to give an answer to his face, the Fanaf. But it's not going to be the right answer. Because you see what happens. Lo Shavu. They don't repent or they don't return to Yehovah, their Elohim. Velo Bikshuhu. Levakesh. Bavakasha. Yes, it is like pleasing your welcome. What is it? What's the root idea behind it? Seeking. To seek. To re- make a request. Bechol Zot is sort of like, in spite of everything that's happening. In spite of all this, they still don't seek him. They still don't return to him. Okay, Their pride answers him. What is their pride going to say? We don't need you. <laughs> okay, and off they go. Verse 11. Kayona. Like a dog. Uh-huh. Yona pota. Silly. Okay, do you remember? We had the pota a long time ago back in Hosea 2. A pota is just like an empty hole. It's foolish. He has no heart. And what? Right. They're out looking for help. They go to Syria, they go to Egypt, every place but the place that they can get help. Verse 12. Ka'asher yelecha. What's yelecha? 
They will go. They will walk. They will go. So ka'asher usually means like when or while, but I think maybe some people think, you know, it means wherever. Whatever is happening, wherever they go, what is he going to do? Ephros, you remember paras? That's not parrots, it's close, it's paras. Okay, it means to spread out. And what is he spreading out? His reshet. Do you know this word? Yeah, it's a net. A net. He's spreading out my net, like of hashamayim. Spreading out a net to catch them, like birds. Is it easy to catch birds with a net? We don't think about catching birds with a net. But I think it must be common for them, for this culture. Okay, he's going to set up a net. He's going to catch them. But it's going to take seven more chapters. All right, I'm going to spread out my net on them. Ori dame. What do you make out of this? Ori dame. This is a verb you know in a, in a, in the uh, binyan that you know to bring them down. What's the root? Huh? Yarad. Yarad. Good. Oh. And what is the uh, binyan? He feel. Okay. And what's the mem at the end? Them. I will bring so them down. It's a drop letter imperfect. I know, but there's an olive there. What's the olive for? I will part? Yes. Yeah. How do you make the participle and the hefeo? They're, they're all mems. They're all mems. Pa'als and nifals. They're at the top of the chart. Pa'als and nifals are different than all the rest. P'el, pu'al, hefeo, hufal, pit pa'el. All those five, the participle starts with mem. Okay, I'm going to bring them down. Ayasirim. We have had this root, uh, like musar means punishment. I'm going to punish them. I'm going to chastise them. Like what? Shema. They're hearing. And who's, who heard it? The edah. The witnesses? The, the congregation. The congregation. So an ed by itself is a witness. So the plural is edim. The noun is edut, is a witness as a noun. No, they're, they're all nouns. These are the people. This is the concept. And the congregation is the edah. A, uh, Possessive form, congregation. It has it goes through the smicha. But it's interesting, isn't it, in light of the fact that you are the bride, regardless of what you're wearing right now, or what you feel like right now, or what you look like. You are the bride, and the congregation is feminine. That's interesting. So what does this mean? He says, I'm going to punish them according to what the congregation has heard. Has the congregation heard about the punishment? Yeah. 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 <laughs> For six chapters now. <laughs> They've been hearing about what's going to happen. Okay. And he says, that's what I'm going to do. Verse 13. Why? Whoa. To, the, to them. Ki na to do. We have, I mean, we, we do know na to do from okay. something. Okay. Yes. What do you think it means? Yes. So uh, Cain, it says, he will be a na vinat. Na vinat. So na has to do with movement, and nod has to do with wandering. Yes, so how do you say too. motorcycle? Ofanoa. Ofanoa. Ofanayim is a bicycle. That comes from the wheel part. Ofen is a wheel. Okay. It's not a galgal wheel. It's an ofen wheel. Okay. okay. And so a motorcycle is an ofanoa, which comes from the oh, same wheel, okay. but the movement. Uh, so in Hosea 7.13, sorry to drag you along, uh, because... They have nadated from me. They have wandered away from me. Okay, and now we'll look at the show. So we have some show. Yeshayahu Yedimel 13.6. Halilu. Like, like, Halil. Like wailing. Why? Karov Yom Yehovah. The day of the Lord is near. Like destruction from Shaddai, from the Almighty. Yavo, it is coming. Uh, since we're in Yeshayahu, we'll do another one. Samech. Lo. Lo what? Yishama. Yishama. What's the root? Shema. What does it mean, Robert? What binyan is it? To be. to be heard. It's a nifal. Okay, it's not yishma, it's yishama. Okay, listen for that extra syllable. Will be heard. Od. Hamas. <laughs> Violence. Okay. No more violence, but Artsakh in your land. And here's this showed we're talking about, and the shever we were talking about before. There's two different kinds of destructions. Big Vulayich, Gvul, you know, in your borders, in your boundaries. The Karat, Shua, salvation, Chomot, Chomotai. 
It will also be called salvation. That will be a day when there's no more Hamas. That will be yeah. when the day comes, right? And what? And the Sha'ar Gate. gates will be called what? Praise. 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 Tehillah. <coughs> like the book of Tehillim. Okay, Eov. It's after Proverbs in most people's Bibles, but not everybody. Eov. Hey. Pasuk Esrim Vishdayim. Good. Al Tira. What's Al Tira? Do not be afraid. Good. Lashod, here's our destruction. Lachafen, I don't know. I've never seen this word. I don't know why I picked this verse. I mean, it's in my translation says famine. So Tishak, and you see this actually uh, even in the name of Isaac in later writings, it's the same as Tzachek. Um, so even his name you see written as Yis- Yishak instead of Yitzchak, which gives you... Uh, a good and tangible clue about how um, sounds change through time. You shall laugh at these things, oh ha ha, and also the chayat hasadeh, chayat, the beasts of the field, you will not be afraid of them. Mizmor, you'd bet. So it's actually verse 6. Okay, but to show we understand, the destruction, who's being destroyed? The aniyim, poor. And Enkat is sighing. And who is sighing? The Evyonim. They're also poor. He's going to take up a case for the, for the downtrodden. Okay. Ata. Now, Akum, I'm going to get up. Now I will arrive. The Ashit. So Ashit is sheet and Sim are the same. Set in place. Okay, I'm going to set in place. In the Yesha, in the Yeshua, in the salvation, in the safety. Yafiach, we haven't seen since like Genesis 2. It means to breathe. But breathe here, the poor person's whole breath is looking for safety. It's like he's, the, the poor person is sighing also. He's breathing, oh, I need my safety. He says, now I'm going to rise up and give him the safety that he's sighing for. That he's breathing for. All right, so we're going back to Hosea 7.13, and we'll see what we find out. We're in the oi. Woe to them, because they have nadad, they have strayed away from me. What's coming to them? Shod. It's coming to them. Ki pashu pesha. They have transgressed. They have overstepped their bounds. B, against me. Anuchi. I. F. Dem. Oh, boy. What is the root of that? Pada. Good. Do you know what it means? It means to redeem. We talked about the ceremony, Pidyon Haben, the redemption of the of the firstborn child. Still practice. What is what is God saying? I redeemed them. In spite of all this, they they transgressed against me, even though I redeemed them. Hema ve dibru are speaking a lie against me. Kazav, we have done very recently lies. They have spoken lies about me. This is not very smart. Seven fourteen. Lo zaaku elai, zaak, zaak, and zaak are the same. So ek. Another yelling. To cry. cry out. Okay. They are not crying out to me. Where? In their heart. Why? Because they are. This is the yellow word. What does it mean? Howling. Okay. Where are they howling? On their mishkavam. Mishkav and their shochev, wherever you shochev, in your bed. Okay, they're howling on their bed. What are they howling about? What are they howling about? The same things they've been howling about, about their grain, about their tirosh. The yit goraru goes with with the wine and the grain. Okay, you see under the mishkavotam, that's the end of the um, phrase. Okay, they're whining on their beds. And... The Yitgarar is like uh, to gather. They're gathering together, worrying about these things. And from me, B, they have Yasur. What is Sur? It means turn, you turn away. When you Musar somebody, you turn them in the right direction. You chastise them. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Turn this way. They're turning away from God. 7.15. Ani. Good. Yisarti. I turn them for discipline. I was disciplining them. Chazak. Strength. I strengthened. I strengthened what? There's Roa, their arms. The Eli toward me. Yechashvu. What is Choshev? Thinking. What are they thinking? Bad. Bad. They're making up evil plans. I can't think of anything more futile 
than to make a scheme to be evil to God. Really? Because he's going to come down and squash you like a bug. The last verse we're going to finish. Yeshiva. Return. They're returning. It's a, they are returning, but lo all. So this is difficult to read because it's not all like on top of something. It's like Elyon. Okay. Elyon is related to on top of something. What is Elyon? Yes. Which has to do with all being up, right? So it's um, so that's what it is. They're returning lo al, not to Elyon, not to Most High, not to God. Hayu, uh, they were ke, keshet. A keshet is a bow. Remia, I think we have done. Remia is is deceit. And what's happening? What is this? What is the bow? What what's the action here? Yiplu, they're falling. Bachero. Who's falling? Sorry, him. Their princes. Mizaam. Where, where, is, where is their anger currently? Rishonam. Tongue. From the evil things coming from their tongue. This is Zo, which is like Zu, which is like Zot. It's short. La'ag, I know we haven't done. We'll do a few, a few verses for La'ag. It's generally translated like derision. Mizmor. I am at Pasuk Arba. Ayinu Cherpa. We are a reproach, people who are shochen, the people who are tabernacling with us, maybe our neighbors, the people who shochen, we are uh, reproach. La'ag v'keles you see together all the time, and it's translated as scorn and derision. So I don't know what the difference is between scorn and derision. And who are we a scorn and derision to? Those around us, svivotenu. Okay, let's look at uh, Yechezkeo. Pasuk Arba also. Chen. Therefore, Hare Yisrael. Mounds of Israel. Shimu. Listen. It's a command form. To the word of, of Adonai. Thus says Adonai. And who is he speaking to? Laharim. Gvaot. Afikim. Maybe you don't know. It's like streams. These are the streams in the desert. Afikim. Uh, gay ayot, we talked about very recently. Gay hinnom, what is gay? A valley. And uh, charavot, it looks like a sword, but it's a desolate place. And the shmamot, we talked about. Shamamot, shamam. Destroyed, desolate. Destroyed, they're really destroyed. They're desolately destroyed. He sang to all these, and also the arim. Ne'ezavot. Uh, you can't say were left because in English it sounds like they were left over. They're not left over. What are no, they? The ones that they? They're abandoned. Abandoned. Which uh, were Lavaz. Remember Vaz, Booz? Maher Shalal Chashbaz. The guy's name. Maher, his whole name was Maher Shalal Chashbaz. Who would curse their kid with a 14 syllable name? Isaiah. Oh, quick to the spoil, quick to the booty. This is Baz. Okay, he's talking about the plunder and also the derision. She'erit. These are the leftover <laughs> Goyim. Goyim, you know, nations misaviv that are round about. All right, let's go back and finish this nice Hosea. We we'll translate it. We have all of it, most of it. Okay, you are like a, a, a treacherous bow. You're like a lying bow, this kind of bow. Okay, the princes are going to fall by the sword, by the, because of the, their tongue, the, the fire, the evil of their tongue. Uh, and that, will be the derision in the land of Mitzrayim, the Eretz Mitzrayim. Okay, we're done. Now, we're not going to meet next week.